Okay, let's take a look at every Premier League club's best ever goal. This is a video which is bound to cause a lot of you to tell me to choke on my own scarf. But lads, there's been thousands of goals. Let me know what ones you'd pick for your club. And also, due to copyright, I won't be actually showing the goals. I'll leave links in the description though. Damn copyright company suffocating me like a night with Susan Boyle. Arsenal, Jack Wiltshire versus Norwich. Yes, I know Arsenal have scored some absolute screamers in the past. I think Nico Stabby's ass is still wondering what the hell happened when Dennis Burkham turned his ankles into raw spaghetti. But this goal is the perfect, exquisite example of what happens when Arsene Wenger's philosophy comes to fruition. Yes, the club have been accused of trying to walk the ball into the goddamn net for the past 10 years. A bit hard to do when you're throwing Yaya Sonogo and Nicholas Bettner up front, but here it actually worked. Jack Wilshire, who for once wasn't puffing cigarettes in a dimly lit treatment room, started the move, passing the ball to Sandy Gazorl on the edge of the box. He forwards it to Olivier Giroud, who trades a couple of flicks with the onrushing Wilshire before the future West Ham man side foots it past a John Ruddy, who looked like he was just after seeing a ghost. Bournemouth, Matt Ritchie versus Sunderland. This is a goal that instantly endeared Matt Ritchie to Newcastle fans, but what a strike. It was September 2015 and this was the club's first home win in the Premier League, beating Sunderland 2-0. Anyway, the ball is whipped in from a corner, headed away by John O'Shea, only as far as Ritchie, 25 yards from goal, controls it on his chest and smacks a stunning volley into the top corner. I can only imagine the terrible things he must have done to the corner flag moments later. Brighton, Josie Esquerdo versus West Ham. Let's be honest, Josie Esquerdo has not been an incredible success for Brighton. The man cost 13.5 million and is just five goals to his name. It was in a 3-1 win against West Ham in February 2018. Pascal Gross's corner gets flicked on, with the Colombian picking it up on the edge of the box, a decent 20 yards from goal. No danger, right? Well, with the instep, he picks his spot and curls it over everyone into the top corner. What a goal. Or, you know, terrible overhead cross, whichever works. Burnley, Ashley Barnes versus West Brom. Ashley Barnes had a weird season last year. Linked with Chelsea, getting international recognition from Austria, settled down, and scoring goals that would rival Cristiano Ronaldo. It was in a 2-1 win at West Brom in March 2018, with Barnes opening the scoring with a goddamn bicycle kick. Ashley Barnes. Settle down, lad. Cardiff City, Jordan Much versus Fulham. Good lord, what a goal. Now, don't get me wrong, Jordan Much was about as much a Premier League footballer as I am the Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea, but this was a rare highlight for him. The man may have the skill level of a soggy bowl of Weedabix, but this was a banger of a strike. Back in September 2013, it was only the club's sixth ever Premier League goal. It was one all at Craven Cottage, and then Much stepped up in the final minute, curling in a 25 yard peach past the keeper and sentencing Fulham to five months of no wins. Chelsea, Didier Drogba versus Bolton. There were a number of goals that could have made this list but I'm going to go for a team goal. Scored in November 2008 in a 4-0 win at Bolton Wanderers. The Scolari era was mostly frustrating, but this was possibly the one true moment of Samba football. Anelka lofts the ball from the left of the penalty area onto Deco's chest, who was lurking just on the edge of the D. In one swift movement, he chests it onto the moving Frank Lampard, who back heels it over his shoulder to the lurking Drogba to dispatch it into the bottom corner. I wouldn't be surprised if Chelsea fans spent that evening tugging themselves senseless in the shower. Crystal Palace, Wilfred Zaha versus Bournemouth. Poor old Crystal Palace, I've certainly been on the receiving end of some great strikes but I'll go with a Wilfred Zaha goal as their best Premier League strike ever. In April 2018, Wilfred Zaha was enjoying an afternoon of forcing Bournemouth defenders to consider their profession. The Man United reject picks the ball up in the box, sidles past one, pirouettes past another to keep the ball under control before turning and firing home a left footed strike into the top corner. How England let him go, I'll never know. Everton, Wayne Rooney versus West Ham. Now, Wayne Rooney's second spell at Everton didn't exactly go to plan, but it wasn't the worst either. Yes, while he did look like a fella addicted to jammy donuts, hard alcohol, and sleeping on his face, he did still score a few. Apparently he's good friends with Joe Hart. Considering the amount of goals he scored against him, he has a funny way of showing it. This was December 2017. Hart comes racing out of his goal, clearly having forgotten the lessons given to him by Zlatan some five years earlier, aimlessly hacks it clear into the centre of the pitch. By the time he was back to his feet, the ball was in the back of his goddamn net. Fulham, Pajtim Kasami versus Crystal Palace. October 2013. This was the game that made Ian Holloway practically give up on football for a while. Well, when players are scoring from angles as impossible as this, you know things aren't going your way. A long ball forward, Pajtim Kasami he controls on the chest and morphs into Zinedine Zidane for a second. He doesn't slow down, continues his run to smack a first time volley over the head of Julian Speroni into the far corner. What a goal. Huddersfield Town, Rajiv Van La Parra versus West Brom. Another goal from last season, November 2017, and Huddersfield edged out yet another home win. 1 0 over West Brom, moving them into the top 10, with Rajiv Van La Parra curling home a beautiful 30 yarder into the top corner. Leicester City, Lillian Nallis versus Leeds. I know what you're thinking, where's Jimmy Vardy's goal against Liverpool? I'm disliking, unsubscribing, and chucking my laptop off a cliff in protest. Well, settle down, lads, alright? I don't think I'm over exaggerating when I say that Lillian Nallis, a man whose career was about as exciting as a plate of lasagna, pulled out one of the best. Premier League goals of all time. And the fact it came from him and nothing player it made it all the better.
better. Both these teams will be relegated at the end of the season, so this game turned out sort of meaningless in the end anyway. But getting smashed 4-0 at Leicester City in September 2003 almost sort of resigned Leeds fans to the realisation that they would be very disappointed in nine months' time. Kind of like when my mother found out she was pregnant with me. Anyway, a failed cross is headed clear by a Leeds defender. The ball hangs in the air for what seems like an hour, but Nallis, eyes never leaving it, waits for it to drop, swivels and bangs an absolute stunning volley into the top right corner. Leeds fans were probably just thinking, kill me now. Liverpool, Dimar Hamann versus Portsmouth. I'm sticking with the 03 04 season for the next one. Just a few months later in March, Liverpool romped to a 3 0 win over Portsmouth, with Dimar Hamann smacking home an insane volley after five minutes. I never thought the twitching German, who only ever scored 13 Premier League goals, would have made it into a list such as this. But yeah, I think this goal is better than anything Torres, Suarez, or Stevie G has come up with in this league. Michael Owen crosses it in, and you would think, alright, lad, you're 30 yards from goal. Take a touch. No, he decides to batter the thing with the ferocity of Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Right past Shaka Hislop, a man who has pretty much made a career out of appearing in Liverpool highlight reels, and Jesus Christ, just listen to the commentary. Dimar Haman! Oh! What a goal! I wouldn't be surprised if he had to change his pants right after. Man City, Georgia Kinkladze versus Southampton. No, forget your billions of pounds, the oil money, the new era, everything. The best goal was from little Georgi Kikladzi back in 1996, when the likes of Aguero had probably never even heard of the club. Picking the ball up 40 yards from goal, the Georgian winger advances, evading about four challenges before ending up at the box to think over the Southampton goalkeeper. You might say, greedy bollocks, pass the f***ing ball next time. But you'd be wrong, so very wrong. Who is he going to pass to, Nigel Clough? Man United, Wayne Rooney versus Man City. To be honest, I could have just shortlisted about five goals from Rooney himself for this category. Again, this is another Rooney versus Hart battle, with the shampoo fanatic coming out the worst yet again. Through no fault of his own this time, with the granny enthusiast winning the Manchester Derby in March 2011 with one of the most sublime efforts I've ever seen. Some people say Rooney is a fine goal scorer but has the athleticism of a dead hippo. This goal dispelled all that, flying into the air to dispatch Nanny's cross, right past a flummoxed heart into the top corner. Just forget the fact he came off his shin, alright? It still went in the damn net. Newcastle, Papi Cisse versus Chelsea. Okay, Alan Shearer's incredible volley against Everton in 2002 comes pretty close, but you know what? That man gets enough credit. I'm giving this one to Papi Cisse, a man beloved by some, but who others deemed have the first touch of a parish priest. Cisse had already put the bank place 1 0 up at Stamford Bridge in May 2012, as Alan Pardew's side chased fourth in a game against a team who would be crowned champions of Europe within two weeks. I know, it was a weird season. Ryan Taylor launches a throw in down the line towards Shola Amiobi, who chests it into the path of the on running Cisse. Now, the striker was here, so far away from the pitch, he was practically sitting in the f***ing stands. How the absolute hell did he score this? Southampton, Matt Letizia versus Newcastle. We're going back to October 1993 for this one, and it remains one of the best Premier League goals of all time. In a 2-1 win over the Magpies, Matt Letizia controls the long ball with a back heel, flicks it past the defender, lifts it over the head of another, before waiting for the ball to drop onto his boot, side footing into the bottom corner. Pretty nice. Tottenham, Danny Rose versus Arsenal. Danny Rose, with eight goals to his name, is the man who has scored Tottenham's greatest goal of the Premier League era. Rose's goal came on his debut in the North London Derby, battering a 35-yard volley over the head of Manuel Amuna and into the net, as the club ran out 2-1 winners to enhance their top four hopes. Watford, Abdoulaye Decoré versus Huddersfield. Okay, so Watford fans won't like remembering last December when he got hammered 4-1 home by Huddersfield in a game which increased the pressure on Marco Silva, but there was one small consolation. The fans left having seen Abdoulaye Decoré's rocket. Again, the ball is cleared from a corner, he lets it bounce once before catching it sweeter than a sherbet lemon, belting it into the net. West Ham, Paolo Di Canio versus Wimbledon. Some say this is the best Premier goal of all time. In March 2000, Trevor Sinclair sprays a 40-yard ball into the box, forcing Paolo Di Canio to dispatch a scissor kick past Neil Sullivan into the Wimbledon goal. He was some player. Shame about the fascism. Wolves, Alex Ray versus Bolton. Wolves have only scored less than 200 Premier League goals ever, and half of those seem to come off the head of Kevin Doyle, so I don't have a lot of choice. I nearly went Ruben Neves' free kick against Everton that left Jordan Pickford questioning his life, but no. Instead, I'm going for Alex Ray, the man who all he wants for Christmas is his two front teeth. Back in September 2003, he volleyed Wolves ahead at the Reebok Stadium in a one-all draw but just look at what a strike it was.